Well, great news for UT. They are headed to the college football playoff semifinals in New Orleans to face off against the Washington Huskies. There's no doubt UT fans will be in that crowd, but how much would it end up costing them to go? KXAN Sarah Alshay breaks down flight options and ticket prices for the game. It was the cheer heard across Texas. The Longhorns are heading to the college football playoff semifinals where they'll play in the Sugar Bowl on January 1st in New Orleans. The team got the news on Sunday. Fans like UT senior Joshua Johnson have been on cloud nine all day. You know, it's like, oh, like I reacted, I went all crazy. I looked, he jumped out of bed, ran around a little bit. A lot of pride. A lot of joy. Johnson says he wants nothing more than to be in the crowd for that game. It would be nice to go. If I can figure out a way to go, I would definitely go. But just how much could it cost fans to make that trip? Going from Austin over to New Orleans, typically we see deals at about 150 and below. We are seeing nearly three times that amount, so somewhere in the three to 400 range. Katie Nastro with Travel Deal Finding Service Going.com says because the game is on New Year's Day, it's during peak travel time. So she recommends getting a plane ticket as soon as possible because prices will continue to go up. If you're a diehard fan that is definitely considering going to this game, you know, you definitely do not want to wait to book these tickets. When it comes to tickets for the game, as of Sunday evening, Ticketmaster has them running anywhere from $547 to more than $2,000. Websites like SeatGeek are a bit cheaper, starting at $447. Johnson says even if he's not able to make it to the game, he'll definitely be watching, hoping for a Longhorns win. And they're going to go there and represent us, represent me. I'm really happy for them, happy for the school, you know. Happy I get to experience it. Sarah Alsheh, KXAN News. According to UT, season ticket holders can request tickets for the Sugar Bowl by logging onto their account, but the university says there is no guarantee that they will get any. They say they'll let people know if they did get the tickets by Friday.